Hey, it's me again. I'm at the big orange home renovation store. I had to pick up a couple things. And I'm going to go over to the Super Center and do some shopping, some grocery shopping. And I'll tell you why. I've already done my grocery shopping for this week. My freezer and my fridge are full. Once a month, my husband's employer, the owner of his company, gives them a PC gift certificate. Now, very often I just use this down at our no frills store by home, and I am going to use it at the no frills store by home. I'm going to go back and get a couple packs of those eggs. 18 eggs for $3.99. Can't pass it up. Need eggs for sure. So we're definitely going to go back and do that. But I'm going to go to the Super Center over here, which is also Loblaws. It's generally a little higher price than um, no frills. I think we're going to find out. I'm going to do my Thanksgiving shop. And I'm also going to pick up some stuff to help us out with next week when I go back to work. And I need to, to pre-make breakfast, lunches, dinners, and all that kind of stuff to see if we can find some stuff to help out with that. So there we go. This is our mission right now. We have $100. We do not have to spend all of it to spend at the Super Center, Thanksgiving, and meal prep for work out of the home mom now my stay-at-home mom days are coming to an end I've got just over four days left until I start work full-time out of the house again I'm looking forward to it but I'm also very nervous about it <sighs> lots of deep breaths everything's gonna be fine right right let's go shopping Check that out. It's even cheaper here than it is at No Frills. Onions on, but they don't say how much they are. It's broccoli for sure at that price. Broccoli. Some cauliflower. Fruit is so, so crazy expensive here. Same price, only three pounds instead of ten. Get some sweet potatoes. All right, there are potentially going to be seven of us for Thanksgiving. My mom and my brother, Abby, Jonas, Trish, Stephen, and I. I think three big ones will probably do it. Celery for my dressing. It's not turkey stuffing without celery in it. Always look through here because they're in different states of different conditions and some are bigger than the others. It always pays to double check. There we go. Alright, sweet potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery. Let's keep going. Sale here, six pounds for seven dollars. Four pounds for seven dollars. Nine dollars for four pounds. I think we're gonna skip apples this week. 
Maybe everything else too. Jeez Louise. Pounds of potatoes. Homemade cranberry sauce is the best. Oh, there, so I don't get popped. Oh, here's that thing we saw. I think bitter melon. Same as our no frills. We're gonna grab a couple of those. And we'll grab a couple of these. Let's see, garlic. Are they all garlicky? Looks like they're all garlicky. Oh, there we go. Butter and herb. Alright, get one of each for the pantry. Unlike other stores where I generally try to stick to the outside of the store getting fresh food the meat and dairy here is stupid expensive so we're not buying any of it here let's keep looking over here for non-perishables Abby was gonna come shopping with me this weekend but she is now doing a sleepover tonight and tomorrow my husband is working so we're not gonna go shopping I've already done the no frills run and not found what we wanted um, so I'm here on my own the birthday party is on Sunday not Saturday so our weekend has completely filled up. So I'm on my own tonight to finish up here and not go too, too crazy. But I do have a $100 gift certificate. So let's see what we can see. So I'd really like to get some maple syrup to add to our sweet potatoes. Real maple syrup it is a little pricey. So we have Ed Smith, which is not really real maple syrup. It's $12.99. How crazy. Here we go. $5.49 for this little dude here. It is Thanksgiving and it is on my husband's boss, so we're gonna do it. Alright, I need some lemon or orange for my homemade cranberry sauce. I'm thinking we're gonna get some marmalade. That will also help me with my breakfast challenge at home. 0.69. We don't need that much. There we go. There we go. Get that. And I can put some in my cranberries and I can also use it for breakfast on toast and stuff. It's going to go up in there. Alright, I'm going to look for some plain applesauce to make some kind of a crisp. See, our prices here are higher. This is $2.29 and no frills, but $2.49 up here at the Super Center. I see no big jars of applesauce. Hmm. Pears. No apple cups either. That might be our best deal for $2.49. We're gonna go unsweetened. Actually, let's go sweetened because we're gonna put it with oats and make like a crisp. Alright, there we go. Thanksgiving. Bullion here, dollar fifty instead of a dollar twenty-five. Crazy. Gravy mixes are only 99 cents though, that's good. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Spices more expensive here than they are at our store. That's $3.79. I think it was $3.49 or $3.59 in our no frills. Uh, what we don't have down there is poultry seasoning. Let's look and see if they have some here. Uh, I do not see poultry seasoning. But I do see thyme. Three bucks. Rosemary, $2.50. There's poultry season there, $2.50. That make it nice and easy for the kids. This is going up here in our pantry Thanksgiving. So we have pantry Thanksgiving up here. Fresh Thanksgiving down there. Oh, look at that. 
$8.99 here, it's $3.49 on the end. Oh, you gotta look for your prices. I found the applesauce. I'm gonna get sweetened applesauce. This is getting harder and harder to find. $5.99. We have lots of flour at home though. I'm just gonna stock up with some baking soda and salt. I'm gonna do it that way. Alright, I don't know about you. But it is not Thanksgiving in my family unless we have some sweet pickles. Let's go see the Gherkins 429. Let's go see what else we can find. Dills, 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 dills are delicious. Oh, here we go. Sweet mixed pickles, five bucks. I love this stuff, especially the cauliflower. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, this can go in either. Either. Rice. Expensive. There we go. We'll get some, some chicken rice aroni for two bucks. Alright. Canned vegetables, stocks, soups. We need cream and mushroom. 99 cents, just like at our no frills. I think I'll grab two. I'm gonna put one for the pantry and one for fresh. We're gonna take one of those and put it there. Keep looking for our vegetables. I do have one of those at Camp Nana. I'm trying to figure a way to use it. I think that'll be a good Thanksgiving breakfast food. Definitely gonna get this these vegetables at no frills. Vegetables here are well it looks like a dollar twenty-nine. They're only ninety-nine cents at our no frills. Dollar forty-nine for potatoes. Yeah, dollar twenty-nine here. So we'll get those at no frills. We're gonna get green beans and yellow beans and corn. But we'll do it at no frills, not at blah blah super center. Do you see what I see? Look past the pumpkin spice. Eggnog. Mm, wait until Christmas. Good news, they have my eggs here. Same price, $3.99 for 18. So I'm gonna grab two packs of those. Cause that's about all the room I have in my fridge. Now I'm tempted to spend 20 cents extra per can on my vegetables just because I'm here and not have to make another trip. Mm, decisions, decisions. Alright, there's no price on the butter here. It is on sale for $4.99 at our no frills. I'm going to take a chance that the same is true here. I don't mind that it's salted. We're going to use it to make a crisp, a nice apple crisp using our oats from the pantry and applesauce we just bought. So I think this is going in the cart. I'm going to go down here with our fresh Thanksgiving provisions. Okay, I think we're about ready to check out. I did splurge and get the canned vegetables here, even though they're a little more expensive because I don't want to make one more grocery trip if I don't have to. I always end up buying more than I went in there for, so we're going to leave it. So my turkey at home, we have sweet potatoes, celery, Potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, butter, our canned veggies, one can of soup, our cranberries. And then we have our maple spam, our poultry seasoning, maple syrup, sweetened applesauce, marmalade, and our pickles. 
Uh, it's looking pretty good to me. I also have down here, I have my eggs and I bought another case of pop for the big kids and my husband because it's on sale. It's the only thing. It's like one of his only food drink vices is Coke Zero, so I allow him that. <laughs> Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. I have my turkey at home, I have my sausage at home, I have stovetop stuffing and I have lots of bread to make homemade stuffing, so I put the uh, stuffing mix back. We have the whole bag of potatoes, so I put the potatoes back. Uh, we have the turkey, so I put the gravy back. And I think that's pretty good. It's not really a pantry shop, but it will be for the next week. Those guys are going to go in the pantry. All of this is going to go down in cold storage. Butter's going to go in the freezer. And hopefully it'll all make it till next weekend. I just want to thank Lynn at Bucket List Homestead for issuing this Stock at September Pantry Challenge. $10 a week is a little confining for me to be adding onto my pantry because we live out of it all the time. We're already rotating it all the time. And um, even though we're not in danger of starving, I myself feel better when we have good food, food security. When my pantry is full, my freezer is full, my fridge is full, it makes me feel better about life. It makes me feel like a better mom, it makes me less stressed, it makes meal planning easier. But if you have to do it, you can do it. I think we've got some really great ideas from this challenge. I know I stunk at sticking to my budget is one of my biggest problems that I need to overcome. I do stick to my weekly um, grocery shopping budget pretty well, but a challenge like this, $10 is really hard for me. I like putting more in the pantry. So that's something that I have to work on. And I do appreciate everybody's contribution to this challenge and all your videos. It's really helping me rethink all of this stuff. I have a full pantry. I have a full freezer. I have a full fridge. And we're not in danger of running out of food anytime soon. And I need to get that through my thick head. <laughs> Prices are going up all the time. And it it just pays to, to live at yesterday's prices. So we can get a good deal grab it is kind of my mentality but I want to tone down our spending a little bit and more importantly I don't want to be tempted to spend more money when I go back to work next week and start making more money it's very tempting to um, spend more when you have more but that is not the goal this is not the goal for my employment my employment is to help us pay all of our bills every month and to get out of debt and I'm not going to do that by raising my grocery prices. So this discipline that this challenge has imparted has been really great. And I want to thank each and every one of you for participating. Thank you for an amazing September. I look forward to anybody that's having any uh, last minute entries. And I am going to go through all of them. I think I've been through most of them already. And I'm quite thoroughly enjoying them. Um, thanks. Have an awesome day. If I played my cards right, I will not have to go grocery shopping again until after Thanksgiving. Except maybe for milk. Maybe for milk. We'll see. Wish me luck. Right, here's how I did on my last stock at September pantry stock up challenge. $10 budget. I got cream of mushroom soup, yellow beans two cans, green beans, two cans, and two cans of corn, and I came in under budget at $8.73. So that is it. September is done. The Stock of September Pantry Challenge is done. We'll see you next month for whatever we're doing next month. The only thing I'm not happy about the price of was the vegetables. They're $1.29 here and they're all on sale at my no frills for 99 cents but I saved a trip and that's important when you're an impulse buyer like I am <laughs> all right here is my Thanksgiving haul on my husband's boss we did really well I'm really happy with this 7326 was my total I used my gift certificate to pay for that. I got PC points for that, and I still have $26.74 left on my gift certificate. So I could use that to get pumpkin pie puree, or pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie filling, apple pie filling, um, another turkey. That ham that I saw in No Frills earlier. I'm going to hang on to 
that money. Thanksgiving is still a week away, so we may still get more. But that I call a successful trip. Thanks for coming with me today, everybody. I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope you're eating well. And I hope you're feeling good about your finances and the state of your food security. So there we go, my last grocery shop of the month. My last stock at September stock up and my first grocery shop for October. I am not gonna go grocery shopping now until after Thanksgiving. And then have them help me. I'll be working in a grocery store and it's gonna be really hard not to impulse shop when I'm there. So wish me luck.